classroom management is something that definitely it's not taught. Like you have to actually find what works for you. And I think my biggest problem was learning what works for me because I could Google it all night long or ask other teachers about it. But at the end of the day, you're gonna have to do what works best for you in your class. Another big problem that I've had is learning that some kids are super, super, super independent and other kids are not independent at all. So finding a happy balance between how can I teach this kiddo to do it on their own and that it is okay to mess up and make mistakes and still have that kind and gentleness as a teacher, but also giving them a harder push that maybe they're not used to having in third grade. For this kid, I have a big sticker chart Every time he like does something really good or he's on task or remembers to like follow our classroom rules or directions or anything like that, I give him a smiley face sticker and he puts it on his chart and he actually picked the rewards that he wanted. So he has candy, pencil, dojo points, a sticker, computer time, 10 minutes of free write or online games. So he has to work for 10 in order to get that reward. I'm gonna keep it on his desk so it's a visual for him it's also done wonders in this new year for him, so. George has grown this year. Character-wise, I would say he's more outgoing and loves to be here. He's not as nervous. He's excited to come to school. I think Becca makes it very fun for the kid. So it's not as uptight and intimidating. First week back from winter break, and the kids are definitely ready to be back, and so am I. During break, I didn't even think about school at all. I kind of took that time to become a human again and you know, remember that I have a life and take care of myself too. As a first year teacher, Becca had the unique experience of being a paid student teacher, a teacher of record in a classroom where the regular classroom teacher had went on leave. Becca had the largest class on the entire campus, and that was because of her excellence in the classroom, her ability to connect with students, to connect with parents. She was requested, and she had a very large class, and she rocked it. You know, she just has that drive. She wants to be better and do better, and that's a sign of a great teacher. It is the last day of third grade, and I can hardly believe that today is just it. Like, they're done, they're ready to move on to fourth grade. I can hardly believe it. Hopefully we get some time to reflect on all the really fun things that we did this year and how much each kid grew and how much I grew and all that fun stuff. But I think today's gonna end definitely in some happy tears, but I'll keep you guys posted on how it all goes. All right, the kiddos just left. and That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. I didn't expect them to cry. I expected to cry, but I didn't expect them to cry as well. But I did tell them that next year they can you know, come by and say hello, and I gave them their gifts. I wish them a good summer, but I didn't expect for them to be as emotional as they were, but that's it, we're done. I am going to come back and visit with Miss Wayne because she was an amazing teacher this year. I'll really miss her when I go up to fourth grade. I wanna thank Becca for sticking through her first year helping George the best that she could, and all of the kids. I know all the kids love to be here, they're excited to be here, and she made it a great first year.